Hello and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of numerical methods. In this topic, we will start off with the solution of algebraic and transcendental equations. Now, before we go on uh, further in this topic, we would, you know, you would but obviously be curious to know about the difference between an algebraic equation and a transcendental equation. Now, a simple algebraic equation would be of the form, let us say, y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. Now, this is a simple algebraic equation or a simple polynomial, okay? But in a transcendental equation, you would have terms of sine cos you would have tan exponential terms log terms so these are the kind of terms you would have in a transcendental equation for example of a transcendental equation uh, you can have cos 3x minus 3 e to power 2x is equal to 0 now this is a transcendental equation now these transcendental equations as well as the algebraic equations need to be solved okay so what do you understand or what do you mean by the solution of an equation be it uh, an algebraic equation or be it a transcendental equation now solution of an equation it means that you need to find out the root of the equation or the roots of the equation if it has multiple of them now roots means points now we all know that every equation on the ev or every function that is given to you it corresponds to a certain curve or a certain you know graph now the we need to find out the points which cut the x-axis so the points of the curve at which the curve intersects or cuts the x-axis are known as roots for example a very simple example i would take let me draw any arbitrary curve okay let us say x and y so for example this is a curve that I'm looking upon now this curve is cutting the x-axis at these two points isn't it so these two points are the roots of the given equation okay so where it cuts the x-axis is known as the root of the equation and therefore it is also called the solution of the equation now let me cover one more important fundamental over here let us say we have a graph okay let's take it like this now i know that this point is a root because this is the point through which the curve is cutting the x axis and this point is also a root so the coordinates of this point would be x1 comma 0 and the coordinates of this point would be x2 comma 0 the, the y coordinate would be 0 okay because this is lying on the x axis now i don't know the exact location of this point and i don't know the exact location of this point okay so let me take an arbitrary point over here and let us say an arbitrary point over here let, it, let us name this point as a and let us name this point as b and this point as c now at point a the function value is negative so f of a is a negative value okay but the function value 
at b is a positive value so f of b is but obviously positive this means in going from a to b the function is changing sign from negative to positive now when such a thing happens that is the sign change or the sign changes in going from one point to the other point now in that interval you will have a root okay so, so the root lies this means x1 it belongs in the interval ab where you would have to locate it with the help of some analytical techniques that we would look at in the upcoming slides okay but to approximate the location of the root in a particular interval we would have to look at you know the sign change of the graph now similarly if we check the sign of the graph or sign of the function at point c at point c f of c is negative this means in going from b to c the function is changing sign this means between b and c there will be another root that is x2 okay this is a simple technique that you need to remember in you know while approximating the uh, the the interval of the root in which it lies just an approximation okay I mean if the sign does not change from negative to positive or from positive to negative whatever it is this means in that interval there will be no root for example let me take another point let me take point D at point D the function value is also positive as you know, similar to point B now there will be no root between B and D there's no root because the graph is not changing sign F to change sign it has to intersect the x axis okay which it is doing in intervals a to b and intervals b to c okay now if you have another point d now you can say that the root lies between d to c that is x2 so the interval change should have a change of sign in order to have a root lying within that interval okay now I've told you that how to approximate the existence of a root in a given interval now we'll look at two analytical techniques to solve these uh, algebraic and uh, transcendental equations we broadly have three or, or mainly we will look at three topics that is first is the bisection method Okay, we'll uh, go at them one by one.